I love disc golf. You love disc golf. Let me show you a few things that you can do to keep your shoulders healthier for your rounds coming up shortly here and your rounds that are years down the line. So your shoulders can feel good. They can feel strong. So you can throw far, so you can throw accurate. Now, first of all, form is probably the most important thing that you can work on. When you have good form, nice loose shoulders, I'm still working on this myself, but if you have good form, that's one of the best ways that you can protect your shoulders and keep them healthy for the long run. Of course, they're gonna be thrown better, farther, and uh, keeping that score nice and low. So if you have a towel, these are some things that you can do on a disc golf course before your round to, roll, roll, uh, to warm up your shoulders, some things that you can do after your round just to kind of loosen things up a little bit or some things that you can do just on a daily basis just to keep your shoulders healthy. Now you might see some variations of these, but I'm thinking disc golf here. And so everybody's got a disc golf towel. So let's see what we can do with that. So the first thing here is grab the towel like so. Palms up, squeezing the towel here. Keep your elbows at your side, shoulders back and down, and you are going to pull outwards, just pulling gently, not too hard. And you're gonna pull to the side and the other side here. Kind of like this, just going back and forth. Now, if you have weak shoulders, you're gonna feel a little bit of a burn in there. Uh, even if you have strong shoulders, you might feel a little bit of a burn in the shoulders. We don't wanna fatigue them before the round. So just pull gently and go side to side. Now, after the round or on your days off from playing, go ahead and fatigue those muscles. One of the best ways to help sick muscles, inflamed tight spasm muscles, is to work them out. Now, not always, but a lot of the times that is. And so if uh, we can do that, then hey, more power to you. The next one here is putting the disc or the towel behind your back and grabbing it with both arms and just doing a stretch backwards and just pulling it as high as you can. Of course, if you have any pain, pinching or stabbing in your shoulders or achiness, don't go that far. But you just wanna get a good stretch there, high as you can. Now it does take about th uh, 30 to 45 seconds for the muscles to really get a good stretch. We can go over that in a future video. And then also grabbing the towel here, going over the head and leaning back and just stretching the shoulders up, really taking them through an entire range of motion. This helps lubricate the joints. This helps get good motion within the joints. And that's going to, going to be one of the things that helps keep them healthier for the long run. And the next one, grab a disc, got this nice Crave. Thanks Dingo for uh, hooking me up with one and turning me onto this disc, I really like it. So you grab the disc like this in both hands and kinda put it between your fingers like so. And you're just gonna bring it out sideways. So I'm pushing here. It's a, this is a push move. With the towel, it's a pull move. But with the disc, it's a pushing move. And you can do side to side. You're pushing, you're warming up those rotator cuff muscles in your shoulder. You're warming up the joint. You're increasing blood supply to the joint and to the muscles. And in the joint, you're helping to create more of that synovial fluid, which is the lubrication. It's like the, the motor oil for the joint. It also brings nutrition into the joint, which is really, really good for prolonged, healthy shoulders. These are things that I've kind of adapted to do on the disc course from regular shoulder rehab exercises. I think they might help you. Another one here, squeezing the shoulder blades back and relaxing. Back relaxing. Doing this maybe 10, 15 times, just keeping the shoulder blade depressed. It's not pulling back and up, it's back and down or neutral, not back and up like so. That's a different exercise. Good. You're squeezing there. This is getting that the rhomboids, the traps, which is wonderful. The next one here is elevation. So shrugging the shoulders up. For this one, don't let your head come forward. Keep your head up, keep your chest lifted, keep your chin up, and you're just squeezing up here. Good. 
Oh, that feels good. I'm just gonna keep doing these. <laughs> this is a good warm up. I like it. Um, shoulder rolls is good. That helps to bring that synovial fluid in, increase the blood flow, get the joint warmed up, get those muscles warmed up. Kind of elbows, working on the elbows a little bit. Same thing, full range of motion. Just doing circles with the elbows. And then the wrists, of course, doing circles with the wrists. And well, we might go into some wrist things in the future. I just wanted to share that with you guys so you can have better disc golf rounds, so you can feel better. These are some exercises that I give to my patients on a daily basis, uh, several of them who play disc golf. And uh, so people have said that it's helped them. I know it's helped me a lot, and um, I'm hoping it helps you as well. If you have any questions, hey, feel free to ask. Hope everything is going well with you. I'll be playing the Aquatic Park Bag Tag Round this weekend, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.